Hey Swifties, how you holding up? Y'all good? By now we're all aware of the massive fail from Ticketmaster that resulted in discontent, confusion, anger, and sadness. Basically a Taylor Swift album. Recently, Ticketmaster couldn't handle the demand for tickets for Taylor Swift's upcoming The Eras Tour, and now the Department of Justice is involved. The DOJ is looking into the monopoly Ticketmaster has on the concert ticket market, with Swift joining Blink-182 and Bruce Springsteen as acts facing backlash from high prices and high demand. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the notorious AOC, even tweeted, break them up, which was not about Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn, but about the ticket Master and Live Nation merger she believes should never have been approved. This hullabaloo does beg the question, could Swift, someone with a massive following, leverage her influence in the charge to find an alternative to Ticketmaster? But I wanted to know more about the hole Ticketmaster has dug for itself. That's why I called Morgan Harper from the American Economic Liberties Project to dive a little deeper with me on what could actually happen in the aftermath of Taylor Gate. What is a monopoly and, and how is that different than just a big company? Like what separates a monopoly from just a large company? Yeah, so a monopoly is really where you have a extreme level of market concentration and buying power in the economy. And so, you know, it's not just that you're a big company and that means that you're automatically a monopoly. It's where a monopoly is that you are having, uh, let's say, and in the case of Live Nation Ticketmaster, for example, you know, over 70% of the market share of the ticketing industry. That's where we start to say, okay, you're a monopoly, and when you pair that level of market concentration, market power, with anti-competitive tactics, which increase the likelihood of those anti-competitive behaviors happening when you're a monopoly, the government needs to step in. And that's why we have a whole field of law and policy called antitrust. What about Ticketmaster? What, what, are, what are some of their anti-competitive tactics? So, one, we need to be clear that we're talking about a combined company called Live Nation Ticketmaster. These companies were able to really gain power independently before they merged in 2010. Ticketmaster was dominating the ticketing industry through a lot of acquisitions. Um, one that was you know, really key in their journey was acquiring Ticketron, which was another uh, competitor. Live Nation was starting to gain power in acquiring venues directly and also running tours that are happening, the promotional companies. And then in 2010, they came together. And so now you have what's called vertical integration, where they are controlling all of the main business streams of the live events industry. Mm -hmm. And then they're able to say, hey, Taylor Swift's tour, you want to come to Live Nation venues? Well, guess what you get when you come to Live Nation venues? You get Ticketmaster as your ticketing service. You start to see some of these exclusive contracts that happen. And then that starts to feel like an anti-competitive mm -hmm. situation where as, as an artist, uh, as a tour promoter, you don't really have a choice. You have to go with the giant in town and the giant in the live events industry right now is Live Nation Ticketmaster. There was uh, an announcement that um, the Department of Justice will be looking into Ticketmaster. What does that kind of mean? Like, I, I, what specifically would that investigation look like, if you know? This is huge because it is an indicator of a whole different approach to enforcement power at the federal level, which as we were just saying, you know, that it's because of lax enforcement that we find ourselves in this mess of concentrated economic power across the economy. And so really, really big that this is already, it's already clear that it's happening, but it is not enough mm -hmm. because what we know is that there have already been a lot of investigations. I mean, dating back to the nineties when Pearl Jam, if anyone still remembers Pearl Jam, <laughs> I do. Yeah, uh, of course, of course. Yes. But uh, you know, they were sounding the alarm about the concentrated power when Ticketmaster was alone, yeah. right? And so there were investigations opened in response probes that started and then they were closed so it's very key and that's why you know for our campaign break up Ticketmaster and the coalition of organizations we represent our demands are twofold yes investigate but we also need to unwind the merger and that's been the piece that has been missing from all the prior federal action is it has not addressed the root cause concentration of power and applied structural remedies to do something about it we need to not just let it be investigated, yeah. unwind, break them up, so that we can have a truly competitive free market in the live events industry. It sounds like we might not have a ton of power here. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm curious to know what can we do as, you know, as Swifties or, or whoever yeah. we're, we're buying tickets for, what, what can we do as consumers to, to, to chip away at this monopoly if, if there's anything we can do? 
So consumers, workers, small business owners, live venue owners actually have a ton of power and it's all about organizing it to speak out. And so that's what's been so powerful about our Breakup Ticketmaster campaign that we now have in just a couple of weeks, 50,000 people who have submitted letters to the Department of Justice saying, oh, wow. do something about this. That's what creates the political landscape to see action happen. No Swifty should think, oh God, we're helpless. The opposite. Y'all yeah. are powerful and now we just need to continue <laughs> harnessing that power and building the army yeah. to make sure that we break up this monopoly. Right, perfect. You heard it here first. <laughs> Get to work, Swifties. Breaking up the Ticketmaster monopoly is an uphill battle, but Taylor Swift's tour has brought the issue to what is probably its largest audience. The Swifties are feral, to be blunt, and the anger and distress they feel in the wake of being snubbed tickets to the Eras tour could be the gateway into collective action against the digital giant. Congratulations, Ticketmaster. It's about to midnight rain a world of hurt, courtesy of T-Swift, the government, and scores of angry tweens. Good luck with all that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.